Good morning YouTube, a uh, beautiful morning, sun's coming up and today what I'm going to do is uh, I have this metal cabinet that I'm going to use as my paint storage cabinet. It's yellow though, so I'm going to wire brush it down and you know clean it up, hit it some black spray paint. It's going to be eventually become part of my, uh, my workbench, so stay tuned, subscribe comment and uh let's see how this thing turns out but here it is so you see here has uh, some rust on the top all around here but what i'm going to be using is i have this old grinder from back in 2000 i only pull it out when i need a quick sand the job done and you know if it's a big job I need a quick job done rather than using my four inch angle grinder but what I have here is a Dremel Sawmax there's a piece of welded metal on here that I need to cut off before I get it painted anyway so I um, picked this up a few weeks ago it's been working great it comes with a wood blade with a plastic blade or excuse me wood or plastic blade ceramics whatever and a metal cutting blade I already have it set up so I can cut that piece of metal off and that's it comes with a allen key changing blades but pretty much that's what comes in the box guys girls it works great I love it uh, it's better than holding a circular saw or a battery powered saw Anything that's, uh, I'm going to say, one inch depth, quick, easy cut, you're good to go. It's easy to manage. All right. Uh, back to this cabinet. You can see it's all messed up in here. But you're going to take care of all that. So I have my uh, gloves and safety goggles. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, you're going to hit up with some Krylon. Paint and primer, gloss black. As you can, if you remember, my toolbox in the garage is black also. So, you know, pretty much black and silver is going to be run throughout in the garage. Keep everything the same. Um, pretty soon, going to get some actual shelves or uh, cabinets put in. This is what I got to cut off right here. But. You kind of get the picture, all right. But uh, so stay tuned. We're gonna see how this turns out. Might not finish it today. I have a lot of stuff on my plate, but just gonna get it wired down, cleaned up, start putting some coats on it, and should be good to go. All right. Thank you. Subscribe. Comment. Please share with your friends. Let me know what you think of the channel, what I can do to improve, and we go from there. Have a good day. So I hit it up this morning. You see all this was uh, rusted in. That's why the guy got rid of it. So they uh, hit up with the wire brush and the sander. Get all the rust out. A lot of the corners, even on the hinges. He had something stuck on here in the tape. I shouldn't have touched that with a brush, but I got messed up, so I got to send all that out by hand. But pretty much, the back's not too bad. You can see here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely inside. There's no way I'm, I'm getting out of the humidity right now. But got my sanding block, some uh, 3M Pro Grade 120 grit. And I'm going to get to work and try and knock this down. This is killing. My soul is hurting right now. Got this side pretty much smoothed up.
think some wheels gonna stay still. Shoulder Kabara, because mine's getting worn out. Hey, comment, let me know. Uh, two shoulders would be great, you know? Hit me up. Tony, yeah, he says sometimes it's best to just use a sheet sandpaper with your hand so you can feel the edges as you sand it in. So that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to get this done. So this is where I'm stopping for the night. Uh, see, I pretty much got it down to the metal. Most areas, this area had no rust really, so didn't really have to uh, touch that. But all this, I got down to the metal. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, just gotta hit this a little bit more. Still feel a little clear or whatever they had on here. I'm gonna put a slight coat over it, real light, just to make sure, you know, even if I can't hit it tomorrow, that it doesn't start, uh, what do you call it, oxidizing and this rust start coming back again. So I'm gonna throw a quick coat on it and, well, wash it off, wipe it down, let it dry. Then I'm gonna uh, hit it with some paint, a light coat, a little black, and I don't have the primer with me, unfortunately. So, but let me, uh, Put this camera down and uh, get this thing cleaned up. I don't know if you can tell you to, but uh, let me say guys, girls, my audience. I don't have my tripod, so I'm going to try and hold this while I paint. I started painting it and then realized I wasn't recording. So let's uh, show you all just a little bit of this. Let's say just a light coat. God knows when I'm going to get back to this. Hopefully I'll be posting a finished product in a video this weekend. Hopefully. <sighs> My hand was in the way. My apologies, guys. Really need to invest in some uh, equipment. Tripods, cameras. You know, I'm hopefully in time I get me a little GoPro. Get you guys to subscribe and like the videos. It might just happen. Good. That's what it's looking like right now. My finger. 
It's a little flat black. Touch up the top of it. Pretty much. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. So, there we go. That's what we got right now. I'm not really sweating too much because I'm in a, some AC. But, that's what we got today. Maybe tomorrow, Thursday, I might be able to finish it. I don't know, maybe this weekend with what's coming up. But that's all I got today. Uh, I owe you guys an intro video, in my opinion. Uh, a little bit about myself, what I'm doing, why I'm YouTubing, about the car, Project Nissan that I'm doing. I'm going to explain in detail what I'm really doing with that car. And, you know, just in general, so you guys get to know me and, you know, actually watch the videos, follow along with what I'm doing. All right. It's not going to be a daily vlog or every other day vlog of what I'm doing, my life. You know, I'm not really into stuff like that as yet. Once I start getting more subscribers, maybe, depending on what you guys ask for. But for right now. Uh, I'm doing fabrication stuff, refurbishing, and my 240, Project Nissan. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. But I will get you guys an intro video. Going to be a little bit lengthy, so watch out now. I don't know how entertaining, but it's coming. I owe it to you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends about this channel. Pass it on. Like. Please comment, please. It means a lot to me. Comment and let me know if you like what I'm doing. If you don't, what would you like to see me do? Guys, with resources, there's nothing that I can't accomplish, nothing. Pretty much limitless. As long as I have the resources, it's done. So let me know, comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget.